Today's video is sponsored by Karma, an app in Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. Check the link below and stay tuned to find out how you can save every time you buy a pair of sneakers. This is the Zion One, Zion Williamson's first signature sneaker with Jordan brand, which kind of came as a surprise, right? Because I think coming out of college, we all assumed that Zion was gonna go with Nike, maybe Adidas, and also because Jordan brand really hasn't had a whole lot of success with their previous signature sneaker lines. But it's a new era over at Jordan brand as they have some of the best young talent that the league has to offer but is the Zion one, that first sneaker that will finally give Jordan Brand some success in the signature sneaker sector? Well, no, it's not. I'll explain after a message from our sponsor. Okay, so Karma, which used to be called Shop Tagger, has helped me save money on sneakers when I shop and has even helped me get cash back. Basically, it's an app or a web browser extension that you can download for free and it'll find you a coupon code every time you shop online at any store. All you gotta do is click the Karma button right on the side when you wanna save on an item. Now, sometimes there's multiple coupon codes for one site, but Karma will automatically try and use all of the promo codes to ensure that you get the one that'll get you the best deal, making the Chrome extension a must since the coupon scanner is only available on a computer. But well, my favorite feature are the saves and alerts. Let's say you wanna pick up a pair of Zion ones, but you can't find a deal on them right now. With Karma, you can save the Zion one in your size, and you can ask Karma to send you a notification on your phone or to your email when that item drops in price, comes back in stock, or if there's a coupon code available. And that's it, it is that easy, guys. You literally don't have to buy a sneaker at full price ever again. You could also save items to a customized wish list, which helps you stay organized and help prevent you from impulse shopping. And Karma will even give you cash back via PayPal when you shop with select retail partners. It honestly doesn't get any better than that. So go ahead and download the free Karma Chrome extension by clicking my link in the description box below. Go ahead, save yourself some money. We all know you deserve it. All right, now let's start by talking about the thing that stood out to me the most with the Zion one, and that is undoubtedly the fit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I was actually expecting the Zion one to have a wider than normal fit. These days, a lot of basketball shoes have a really narrow midfoot, and I think it's because a lot of the pro players have a slimmer foot shape. But with Zion, he's a really big guy, so I just kind of assumed that he had a wider than normal foot. But apparently that is not the case as the Zion one has what I would call a normal midfoot in terms of width, which is fine, don't get me wrong, but the length of the Zion one is not as it fits extremely, extremely long. In my true size, these honestly felt like they were at least a half size too big, maybe even a little bit more which could have definitely been fixed by going down half a size, but even if you have a slightly wide foot like myself, I feel like the midfoot would be a little too snug in a half size down to be considered comfortable. But if you do consider yourself to have a narrow foot shape, I do recommend going down half a size in these to kind of reduce the dead space towards the front of the shoe. But for everyone else, the fit here just simply isn't versatile enough to appease a wide range of foot shapes and sizes. And that dead space in the front of the shoe can really become a distraction out there on the floor. So unless you have a long and narrow foot, yes, these will fit like Cinderella's glass slipper. But if you don't have a long and narrow foot, you're gonna end up feeling like an ugly stepsister. Now, as for the lockdown, a lot of the times a really good lockdown system can actually save a shoe from an imperfect fit. However, this is another area that Jordan Brand really needs to work on. Aside from the midfoot, which provided great lockdown, both the forefoot and the heel just didn't secure my foot well enough, so you're gonna get a very spacey-like feel in these areas. The Zion one is gonna feel more like a shell around your foot rather than an extension of it. 
And again, that could be really distracting since it feels like your foot is going to be sliding all over the place, which sometimes that does happen. But like I said earlier, the midfoot does do a pretty good job at saving the fit. But as an overall package, the lockdown is pretty disappointing. And that disappointment is made even worse thanks to the traction. This particular colorway uses an entirely translucent rubber outsole, which picks up a ton of dust and simply does not perform very well on really any indoor surface, except maybe a pristine NBA floor. But honestly, who plays on a clean floor these days? I know I don't. As you can see from these clips, I was slipping all over the place, particularly during hard stops and step backs. Whenever I would try to plant hard on my foot to throw a defender off balance, I was the one that ended up being off balance myself due to the forefoot skidding from underneath me. And this led to off balance shots, picking up my dribble and killing the possession, and an overall unease that I couldn't really pull off the moves that I wanted to pull off. And this inconsistency in the traction could also lead to tweaked ankles if you're not careful. But fortunately, that did not happen to me. So yeah, the traction is pretty disappointing, at least in this colorway. There are some other colorways that have a solid rubber outsole, but this colorway, the traction just was not really that great. And before you start to say, well, it was only acting up because you're playing on that weird composite floor, that's just where I recorded the footage. I did take these on the hardwood as well, and the experience was pretty much the same. So I'm sorry to say, but the traction on the Zion 1 is a negative. All right, so that was all of the bad of the Zion 1. Let's start talking about all of the good stuff. The materials are almost identical to what you could find on the Air Jordan 34. And while I had no problems with that setup, I actually really love the ultra lightweight feel of them. The one negative you could say about them was that they were not worth the premium price tag that the 34s came with. But with the Zion 1's $120 price point, the materials make a lot more sense here and still provide that lightweight feel, which helps you feel really fast on the court. Just don't expect these to last you as long as some other setups, as you can see here with my pair as they look pretty beat up, and that's with indoor use only. Now while the fit, lockdown, and traction are all spotty on the Zion 1, the support system that Jordan Brand implemented here is actually above average. Jordan Brand implements a large outrigger on the forefoot, which makes the front of the shoe very wide, which makes for a nice base. And the outsole also has a slight curve to it, which makes for an overall smooth ride that leads you right into the awesome cushioning system. The Zion 1 uses a full length air struggle board, which means your foot is going to sit directly on top of Nike Air technology which honestly feels extremely cloud-like and somewhat similar to what the Jordan 34 and 35 has to offer, just at a much lower price point, which again is incredible. But obviously, the Zion 1 is missing a key piece of tech, and that's that Eclipse Plate technology in the midfoot, but that is why that full-length air struggle board is really important because it still provides you with that smooth ride while at the same time leading you right into that bottom-loaded extra zoom unit in the forefoot, which gives you that extra pop during takeoffs or also on things like second jumps when you're on defense or fighting to grab a rebound. If you're familiar with what Nike has been doing with the cushioning and KD signature line, you're gonna feel right at home here with the Zion 1. It's smooth, it's springy, it's honestly the best of both worlds. And it is almost worth the $120 price tag alone, but I said almost because I believe the shortcomings of the Zion 1 are too big to overcome. Between the super particular fit to the lack of lockdown in the front and the back of the shoe, as well as the spotty indoor traction, I mean, that's three strikes by my count, which means you're out. And I know that's a baseball analogy and this is a basketball shoe, but that's exactly my point. The Zion 1 just isn't that fun to play basketball in. And I also feel that Jordan Brand missed a huge opportunity on making the Zion 1 an appealing shoe to wear both on and off the court. From a distance, is there really anything special about the aesthetics with these? I mean, while I do appreciate the not so subliminal Z right smack dab in the middle of the silhouette, 
The Zion 1 just looks like a teardown model of the Jordan 34, which it honestly kind of is performance wise, but really fails to make a statement visually since we've kind of been there and worn that. And also Zion's logo on the tongue is remarkably unstimulating. So really, who is this shoe for? Because visually, it's lifeless. And on the court, it's flawed. But hey, it's Zion Williamson's first signature sneaker. The first one ever. So basketball fans, as well as sneaker fans like myself, we're going to be excited about these regardless. And unfortunately, it seems that Jordan Brand knew that as well. So I feel like it's my duty to politely ask Jordan Brand, do better on the next one. If not for us, do it for Zion, who is easily your highest profile signing since the Jumpman himself. If you guys enjoyed this review of the Zion one, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more sneaker related content just like this. And don't forget to save yourself some money on some sneakers by downloading Karma for free with the link in the description box below. My name's Jaren, it's for having you. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace!